Tbilisi English TBIH TBILIHC Georgian Tbilisi TBILISI Listen in some countries also still known by its pre-1936 international designation Tiflis Tifli is the capital and the largest city of Georgia lying on the banks of the Kura River with a population of approximately 1.5 million people Founded in the 5th century AD by Vakhtang I of Iberia, since then Tbilisi served as the capital of various Georgian kingdoms and republics. Between 1801 and 1917, then part of the Russian Empire, Tbilisi was the seat of the imperial viceroy, governing both southern and northern Caucasus. Because of its location on the crossroads between Europe and Asia, and its proximity to the lucrative Silk Road, throughout history Tbilisi was a point of contention among various global powers. The city's location to this day ensures its position as an important transit route for various energy and trade projects. Tbilisi's diverse history is reflected in its architecture, which is a mix of medieval, neoclassical, Beaux-Arts, Art Nouveau, Stalinist and the modern structures. Historically, Tbilisi has been home to people of multiple cultural, ethnic, and religious backgrounds, though it is currently overwhelmingly Eastern Orthodox Christian. Its notable tourist destinations include cathedrals Samiba and Sioni, Freedom Square, Rustavelli Avenue and Agmashenabeli Avenue, medieval Narakala Fortress, the Pseudo-Moorish Opera Theatre, and the Georgian National Museum. <laughs> Names and etymology The name Tbilisi derives from Old Georgian Tbilisi, Tbilisi and further from T Pili, to be warm. The name T Billy or T Bilisi, literally warm location, was therefore given to the city because of the area's numerous sulfuric hot springs. Until 1936, the name of the city in English and most other languages was Tiflis, while the Georgian name was Tpilisi On 17 August 1936, by order of the Soviet leadership, the official Russian names of various cities were modified to more closely match the local language. In addition, the Georgian language form T was modernized on the basis of a proposal by Georgian linguists. The ancient Georgian component Tpili t -pili, warm", was replaced by the newer Tbili. T -bili". This form was the basis for a new official Russian name. Tbilisi -tbilisi". Most other languages have subsequently adopted the new name form, but some languages such as Turkish, Persian, Greek, and German have retained a variation of Tiflis. On 20 September 2006, the Georgian parliament held a ceremony celebrating the 70th anniversary of the renaming. Some of the traditional names of Tbilisi in other languages of the region have different roots. The Ossetian name Kalak, Kalak derives from the Georgian word Kalaki, Kalaki meaning simply, town. Chechen and Ingush names for the city use a form similar to or the same as their names for the country of Georgia as does the historical Kabardian name while Abakaz Kar is from the Mingrelian Kardi Topic History Topic <inaudible> Early History Archaeologists have discovered evidence of continuous habitation of the Tbilisi suburb of Diomi since the Early Bronze Age, and stone artifacts dating to the Paleolithic Age. During the Late Bronze Age to Early Iron Age, it was the largest settlement in the Caucasus. According to legend, the present-day territory of Tbilisi was covered by forests as late as 458. One widely accepted variant of Tbilisi foundation myth states that King Vakhtang I of Iberia went hunting in the heavily wooded region with a falcon sometimes the falcon is replaced with either a hawk or other small birds of prey in the legend. 
The king's falcon allegedly caught or injured a pheasant during the hunt, after which both birds fell into a nearby hot spring and died from burns. King Vakhtang became so impressed with the hot springs that he decided to clear the forest and build a city on the location. King Dachi of Iberia, the successor of Vakhtang I, moved the capital of Iberia from Mts Keta to Tbilisi. During his reign began construction of the fortress wall that lined the city's new boundaries. From the 6th century, Tbilisi grew at a steady pace due to the region's strategic location along important trade and travel routes between Europe and Asia. <laughs> Foreign domination Tbilisi's favorable trade location, however, did not necessarily bode well for its survival. Located strategically in the heart of the Caucasus between Europe and Asia, Tbilisi became an object of rivalry among the region's various powers such as the Roman Empire, Parthia, Sassanid Persia, Arabs, the Byzantine Empire, and the Seljuk Turks. The cultural development of the city was somewhat dependent on who ruled the city at various times, although Tbilisi was fairly cosmopolitan. From 570 to 580, the Persians ruled the city until 627, when Tbilisi was sacked by the Byzantine, Hazar armies and later, in 736–738, Arab armies entered the town under Marwan II. After this point, the Arabs established an emirate centered in Tbilisi. In 764, Tbilisi, still under Arab control, was once again sacked by the Khazars. In 853, the armies of Arab leader Buga al Turki invaded Tbilisi in order to enforce its return to Abbasid allegiance. The Arab domination of Tbilisi continued until about 1050. In 1068, the city was once again sacked, only this time by the Seljuk Turks under Sultan Alp Arslan. Capital of Georgia In 1121, after heavy fighting with the Seljuks, the troops of the King of Georgia David IV of Georgia besieged Tbilisi, which ended in 1122 and as a result David moved his residence from Kutaisi to Tbilisi, making it the capital of a unified Georgian state and thus inaugurating the Georgian Golden Age. From 12 to 13 th centuries, Tbilisi became a regional power with a thriving economy and astonishing cultural output. By the end of the 12th century, the population of Tbilisi had reached 100,000. The city also became an important literary and a cultural center not only for Georgia but for the Eastern Orthodox world of the time. During Queen Tamar's reign, Shota Rustavelli worked in Tbilisi while writing his legendary epic poem, The Knight in the Panther's Skin. This period is often referred to as, "...George's Golden Age", or the Georgian Renaissance. <laughs> <laughs> Mongol domination and the following period of instability Tbilisi's «Golden Age» did not last for more than a century. In 1226, Tbilisi was captured by the Khwarezmian Empire Shah Jalal ad-Din and its defences severely devastated and prone to Mongol armies. In 1236, after suffering crushing defeats to the Mongols, Georgia came under Mongol domination. The nation itself maintained a form of semi-independence and did not lose its statehood, but Tbilisi was strongly influenced by the Mongols for the next century both politically and culturally. In the 1320s, the Mongols retreated from Georgia and Tbilisi became the capital of an independent Georgian state once again. An outbreak of the plague struck the city in 1366. From the late 14th until the end of the 18th century, Tbilisi came under the rule of various foreign invaders once again and on several occasions was completely burnt to the ground. In 1386, Tbilisi was invaded by the armies of Tamerlane. 
In 1444, the city was invaded and destroyed by Jahan Shah, the Shah of the town of Tabriz in Persia. From 1477 to 1478, the city was held by the Ak Koyunlu tribesmen of Uzun Hasan. Topic: <inaudible> Iranian control. As early as the 1510s, Tbilisi and the kingdoms of Kartli and Kakheti were made vassal territories of Safavid Iran. In 1522, Tbilisi was garrisoned for the first time by a large Safavid force. Following the death of King Shah Ismail I, R. 1501–1524, King David X of Kartli expelled the Iranians. During this period, many parts of Tbilisi were reconstructed and rebuilt. The four campaigns of King Tamasp I r. 1526 resulted in the reoccupation of Kartli and Kakheti, and a Safavid force was permanently stationed in Tbilisi from 1551 onwards. With the 1555 Treaty of Amasya, and more firmly from 1614 to 1747, with brief intermissions, Tbilisi was an important city under Iranian rule, and it functioned as a seat of the Iranian vassal kings of Kartli whom the Shah conferred with the title of Valley. Under the later rules of Timuraz II and Heraclius II, Tbilisi became a vibrant political and cultural center free of foreign rule. But, fearful of the constant threat of invasion, Georgia's rulers sought Russian protection in the 1783 Treaty of Georgiesk. Despite this agreement, the city was captured and devastated in 1795 by the Iranian Qajar ruler Aga Muhammad Khan, who sought to re establish Iran's traditional suzerainty over the region. <laughs> Russian control In 1801, the Russian Empire annexed the Georgian kingdom of Kartli Kakheti, of which Tbilisi was the capital, later cementing its rule with the Treaty of Gulistan of 1813, which ended Iranian control of Georgia. Tbilisi became the center of the Tbilisi Governorate. Gubernia. Russian imperial administrators implemented a new European style city plan and commissioned new buildings in Western styles. Roads and railroads were built to connect Tbilisi to other important cities in the Russian Empire, such as Batumi and Poti. By the 1850s, Tbilisi once again emerged as a major trade and a cultural center. The likes of Ilya Chavachavadze, Akaki Saratelli, Mirza Fatali Akinzade, Yakob Gogibashvili, Alexander Griboyadov, and many other statesmen, poets, and artists all found their home in Tbilisi. The city was visited on numerous occasions by and was the object of affection of Alexander Pushkin, Leo Tolstoy, Mikhail Lermontov, the Romanov family and others. The main new artery built under Russian administration was Golovin Avenue, present-day Rustavelli Avenue, on which the viceroys of the Caucasus established their residence. For much of the 19th century, Tbilisi's largest ethnic group was Armenian, who, at some point, formed 74.3% of the population. <laughs> Brief independence After the Russian Revolution of 1917, the city served as a location of the Transcaucasus Interim Government which established, in the spring of 1918, the short-lived independent Transcaucasian Federation with the capital in Tbilisi. At this time, Tbilisi had roughly the same number of Armenians as Georgians, with Russians being the third largest ethnic group. It was here, in the former Caucasus Vice Royal Palace, where the independence of three Transcaucasus nations, Georgia, Armenia and Azerbaijan, was declared on 26–28 May 1918. After this, Tbilisi functioned as the capital of the Democratic Republic of Georgia until 25 February 1921. 
From 1918 to 1919 the city was also consecutively home to a German and British military headquarters. Under the national government, Tbilisi turned into the first Caucasian university city after the Tbilisi State University was founded in 1918. On 25 February 1921, the Bolshevist Russian 11th Red Army invaded Tbilisi after bitter fighting at the outskirts of the city and declared Soviet rule. <inaudible> Soviet rule In 1921, the Democratic Republic of Georgia was occupied by the Soviet Bolshevik forces from Russia, and until 1936 Tbilisi functioned first as the capital city of the Transcaucasian SFSR which included Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Georgia, and afterwards until 1991 as the capital of the Georgian Soviet Socialist Republic. During Soviet rule, Tbilisi's population grew significantly, the city became more industrialized, and it also came to be an important political, social, and cultural center of the Soviet Union. In 1980 the city housed the first state-sanctioned rock festival in the USSR. As a major tourist destination for both Soviet citizens and foreign visitors, Tbilisi's old town the neighborhoods within the original city walls was reconstructed in the 1970s and 1980s. Tbilisi witnessed mass anti-Russian demonstrations during 1956 in the 9th of March massacre in protest against the anti-Stalin policies of Nikita Khrushchev. Peaceful protests occurred in 1978, and in 1989 the April 9th tragedy was a peaceful protest that turned violent. Post-independence Since the breakup of the Soviet Union, Tbilisi has experienced periods of significant instability and turmoil. After a brief civil war, which the city endured for two weeks from December 1991 to January 1992 when pro gamsakhurdia and opposition forces clashed, Tbilisi became the scene of frequent armed confrontations among various mafia clans and illegal business operators. Even during the Shevardnadze era 1993 crime and corruption became rampant at most levels of society. Many segments of society became impoverished because of unemployment caused by the crumbling economy. Average citizens of Tbilisi started to become increasingly disillusioned with the existing quality of life in the city and in the nation in general. Mass protests took place in November 2003 after falsified parliamentary elections forced more than 100,000 people into the streets and concluded with the Rose Revolution. Since 2003, Tbilisi has experienced considerably more stability with decreasing crime rates, an improved economy, and a real estate boom. During the 2008 South Ossetia War the Tbilisi area was hit by multiple Russian air attacks. After the war, several large-scale projects were started, including a streetcar system, a railway bypass and a relocation of the central station and new urban highways. In June 2015, a flood killed at least 12 people and caused animals from the city's zoo to be released into the streets. <laughs> Politics and administration The status of Tbilisi, as the nation's capital, is defined by the Article 10 in the Constitution of Georgia 1995 and the Law on Georgia's Capital, Tbilisi the 20th of February 1998. Tbilisi is governed by the Tbilisi City Assembly and the Tbilisi City Hall The City Assembly is elected once every four years. The Mayor is elected once every four years by direct elections. The mayor of Tbilisi is Kaka Kaladze and the chairman of the Tbilisi City Assembly is Georgi Alabagashvili. 
Administratively, the city is divided into rayons districts, which have their own units of central and local government with jurisdiction over a limited scope of affairs. This subdivision was established under Soviet rule in the 1930s, following the general subdivision of the Soviet Union. Since Georgia regained independence, the rayon system was modified and reshuffled. According to the latest revision, Tbilisi rayons include Old Tbilisi, Dizveli Tbilisi Vek Sabortalo, Vek Sabortalo Didub Chugareti, Didub Chugareti Gieldani Nadzaladevi, Gieldani Nadzaladevi Asani Samgori, Asani Samgori Dijori, Dijori 2007 to 2013. Most of the rayons are named after historic quarters of the city. The citizens of Tbilisi widely recognize an informal system of smaller historic neighborhoods. Such neighborhoods are several, however, constituting a kind of hierarchy because most of them have lost their distinctive topographic limits. The natural first level of subdivision of the city is into the right bank and the left bank of the empty Kavari. The names of the oldest neighborhoods go back to the early Middle Ages and sometimes pose a great linguistic interest. The newest whole built developments bear chiefly residential marketing names. In pre revolution Tiflis, the Georgian quarter was confined to the southeastern part of the city. Baedeker describes the layout succinctly. In the north part of the town, on the left bank of the Kura and to the south of the railway station, stretches the clean German quarter, formerly occupied by German immigrants from Wurttemberg. To the south is the Gruzinian or Georgian quarter. Avlabar. On the right bank of the Kura is the Russian Quarter, the seat of the officials and of the larger business firms. This is adjoined on the south by the Armenian and Persian bazaars. Avlabari is considered the integral component of the so-called Old Tbilisi, and is currently the object of planning and cultural heritage preservation. Geography Topic <inaudible> Location Tbilisi is located in the South Caucasus at 41 degrees 43 north latitude and 44 degrees 47 east longitude The city lies in eastern Georgia on both banks of the Empty Kavari River the elevation of the city ranges from 380 to 770 meters above sea level, 1250 to 2530 feet, and has the shape of an amphitheater surrounded by mountains on three sides. To the north, Tbilisi is bounded by the Sigaramo range, to the east and southeast by the IORI plain, to the south and west by various endings, sub-ranges of the Trialeti range. The relief of Tbilisi is complex. The part of the city which lies on the left bank of the Empty Kavari River extends for more than 30 kilometers (19 miles) from the Avachala district to River Lakini. The part of the city which lies on the right side of the Empty Kavari River, on the other hand, is built along the foothills of the Trialeti Range, the slopes of which in many cases descend all the way to the edges of the River Empty Kavari. The mountains, therefore, are a significant barrier to urban development on the right bank of the Empty Kavari River. This type of a geographic environment creates pockets of very densely developed areas while other parts of the city are left undeveloped due to the complex topographic relief. To the north of the city, there is a large reservoir commonly known as the Tbilisi Sea fed by irrigation canals. Topic: Climate. Tbilisi has a humid subtropical climate, Köppen climate classification (Cfa), with considerable continental influences. The city experiences very warm summers and moderately cold winters. Like other regions of Georgia, Tbilisi receives significant rainfall throughout the year with no distinct dry period. 
The city's climate is influenced both by dry Central Asian, Siberian air masses from the east and oceanic Atlantic Black sea air masses from the west. Because the city is bounded on most sides by mountain ranges, the close proximity to large bodies of water Black and, Caspian seas and the fact that the Greater Caucasus Mountains range further to the north blocks the intrusion of cold air masses from Russia. Tbilisi has a relatively mild microclimate compared to other cities that possess a similar climate along the same latitudes. The average annual temperature in Tbilisi is 13.3 degrees Celsius .9 degrees Fahrenheit. January is the coldest month with an average temperature of 2.3 degrees Celsius .1 degrees Fahrenheit. July is the hottest month with an average temperature of 24.9 degrees Celsius .8 degrees Fahrenheit. Daytime high temperatures reach or exceed 32 degrees Celsius (90 degrees Fahrenheit) on an average of 22 days during a typical year. The absolute minimum recorded temperature is -24.4 degrees Celsius (-11.9 degrees Fahrenheit) in January 1883, and the absolute maximum is 42.0 degrees Celsius (107.6 degrees Fahrenheit) on the 17th of July 1882. Average annual precipitation is 495.5 mm (19.5 in). May is the wettest month, averaging 77.6 mm (3.1 in) of precipitation, while January is the driest, averaging 18.9 mm (0.7 in) of precipitation. Snow falls on average 15 to 25 days per year. The surrounding mountains often trap the clouds within and around the city, mainly during the spring and autumn months, resulting in prolonged rainy and or cloudy weather. Northwesterly winds dominate in most parts of Tbilisi throughout the year. Southeasterly winds are common as well. Topic: <laughs> People and culture. Topic: <laughs> Demographics as a multicultural city, Tbilisi is home to more than 100 ethnic groups. Around 89% of the population consists of ethnic Georgians, with significant populations of other ethnic groups such as Armenians, Russians, and Azerbaijanis. Along with the above-mentioned groups, Tbilisi is home to other ethnic groups including Ossetians, Abkhazians, Ukrainians, Greeks, Germans, Jews, Estonians, Kurds, Assyrians and Yazidis, and others. More than 95% of the residents of Tbilisi practice forms of Christianity, the most predominant of which is the Georgian Orthodox Church. The Russian Orthodox Church, which is in full communion with the Georgian, and the Armenian Apostolic Church have significant followings within the city as well. A minority of the population around practices Islam mainly Shia Islam, while about 0.1% of Tbilisi's population practices Judaism. There is also Roman Catholic Church and the Yazidi Sultan Ezid Temple. Sports Up until the beginning of the 19th century, sports such as horse riding polo in particular, wrestling, boxing, and marksmanship were the most popular city sports. Influence from the Russian Empire brought more Western sports and activities billiards, fencing, to Tbilisi. The Soviet period brought an increased popularization of sports that were common in Europe and to a certain extent, the United States. At the same time, Tbilisi developed the necessary sports infrastructure for professional sports. By 1978, the city had around 250 large and small sports facilities, including among others, four indoor and six outdoor Olympic-sized pools, 185 basketball courts and halls, 192 volleyball facilities, 82 handball arenas, 19 tennis courts, 31 football fields, and five stadiums. 
The largest stadium in Tbilisi is the Dinamo Arena seats and the second largest is the Mikel Meski Stadium seats. The Sports Palace which usually hosts basketball games with high attendance and tennis tournaments can seat approximately 11,000 people. Veer Basketball Hall is a smaller indoor sports arena with a 2,500 seating capacity. The most popular sports in Tbilisi today are football, rugby union, basketball, and wrestling. Also, popular sports include tennis, swimming and water polo. There are several professional football and rugby teams as well as wrestling clubs. U.S. National Basketball Association players Zaza Pachulia and Nikolas Skaitishvili are Tbilisi natives. Outside of professional sports, the city has a number of intercollegiate and amateur sports teams and clubs. Tbilisi's signature football team, Dinamo Tbilisi, has not won a major European championship since the 1980–1981 season, when it won the European UEFA Cup Winners' Cup and became the easternmost team in Europe to achieve the feat. The basketball club Dinamo Tbilisi won the Euroleague in 1962 but also never repeated any such feat. Media The large majority of Georgia's media companies including television, newspaper, and radio are headquartered in Tbilisi. The city is home to the popular Rostavi 2 television channel which gained considerable fame after its coverage of the Rose Revolution. In addition to Rostavi 2, the remaining three out of the four major public television channels of Georgia including Ameti TV Maestro and the Public Broadcasting Channel are based in the city. Tbilisi's television market has experienced notable changes since the second half of 2005 when Rostavi 2 successfully bought out the MZE TV company and Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation became a shareholder of Amedi Media Holding at the beginning of 2006. Tbilisi has a number of newspaper publishing houses. Some of the most noteworthy newspapers include the Daily 24 Sadi. 24 hours resonance resonance alia the english language daily the messenger weekly financial georgia today and the english language weekly the georgian times out of the city's radio stations Amedi radio 105.9 fm fortuna and radio 105 are some of the most influential competitors with large national audiences Radio stations in Tbilisi include Five Lines Radio 93.8 FM, Europe Plus Tbilisi 99.6 FM, and Georgian Patriarchy Radio 105.4 FM. Topic: <laughs> Architecture The architecture in the city is a mixture of local Georgian and Byzantine, neoclassical, Art Nouveau, Beaux-Arts, Middle Eastern, and Soviet modern styles. Very few buildings survived the destruction of the city in 1795, so most historical buildings in Tbilisi date to the Russian Imperial period 1801–1917. The oldest parts of the city Kala, Abanotubani, Avlabari, were largely rebuilt on their medieval street plans, and some old houses were even rebuilt on much older foundations. The areas of downtown Tbilisi which were developed according to a European-style plan by Russian authorities Sololaki, Rustaveli Avenue, Vera, etc. have a Western appearance, with a mix of styles popular in Europe at the time, Beaux-Arts, Orientalist, and various period revival styles. Tbilisi is most notable for its abundance of Art Nouveau buildings and details common in Sololaki and Chugareti, which flourished from the mid-1890s to through the end of Russian rule. Art Nouveau was decreed as bourgeois by communist authorities, who introduced experimental modern architecture. 
The more conservative and historically inflected Stalinist architecture in Georgia is embodied by the 1938 Marx Engels Lenin Institute building, Ameli, now housing the Biltmore Hotel Tbilisi, too. Tbilisi's post-war architecture is similar to the brand of mid-century modernism found across the Soviet Union. The city expanded dramatically in response to a housing crisis after World War II. Entire neighborhoods, Sabortalo, Diomi, appeared on the outskirts of the city in a matter of decades, built with advances in mass production technology. Georgian architects produced some of the Soviet Union's most interesting architectural achievements, including Tbilisi's 1975 Ministry of Roads and the 1984 Wedding Palace. Since the collapse of the Soviet Union, the urban landscape is largely characterized by unregulated construction. New towers occupy formerly public spaces and overcrowded apartment buildings sprout kamikaze logia overnight. Since 2004, the city government has taken new initiatives to curb uncontrolled construction projects with mixed success. In the near future, Tbilisi will have three skyscraper complexes. The Axis Towers, Radix Chavachavadze 64, and the new Ajara Hotel, business complex, which is currently under construction, will be the tallest buildings, skyscrapers in the Caucasus. 3. <laughs> Main sites Tbilisi has important landmarks and sightseeing locations. The Parliament and the Government State Chancellery buildings of Georgia, as well as the Supreme Court of Georgia, are in Tbilisi. The city has important cultural landmarks such as the Georgian National Museum, Tbilisi State Conservatoire, Tbilisi Opera and Ballet Theatre, Shota Rustaveli State Academic Theatre, Marianashvili State Academic Theatre, the Samiba Cathedral, the Vaantsovs Palace also known as the Children's Palace today, many state museums, the National Public Library of the Parliament of Georgia, the National Bank of Georgia, Tbilisi Circus, the Bridge of Peace Peace and other important institutions. During the Soviet times, Tbilisi continuously ranked in the top four cities in the Soviet Union for the number of museums. Out of the city's historic landmarks, the most notable are the Narakala Fortress 4th 17th century, Ankiskati Basilica 6th century, built up in the 16th century, Sioni Cathedral 8th century, later rebuilt, and Church of Mateki. Nightlife Beyond traditional attractions, Tbilisi has developed burgeoning nightclub culture which started to attract international media attention in the 2010s. The leading clubs such as Bassiani, MTK Vars, Kiti, and Café Gallery have featured major international DJs as well as local performers. Topic: Economy. With a GDP at basic prices of 12,147 million Georgian lari, 4.3 billion euros, in 2014, Tbilisi is the economic center of the country, generating almost 50% of Georgia's GDP. The service sector, including government services, is dominating and contributes 88% to GDP. Its GDP per capita of 10,336 Georgian lari Euros is exceeding the national average by more than 50%. The service sector itself is dominated by the wholesale and retail trade sector, reflecting the role of Tbilisi as transit and logistics hub for the country and the South Caucasus. The manufacturing sector contributes only 12% to Tbilisi's GDP, but is much larger, by employment and total value added, than the manufacturing sectors in any other region of Georgia. The unemployment rate in Tbilisi is, with 22.5%, significantly higher in Tbilisi than in the regions. Topic. 
Topic: Transportation. Topic: Airport. Shoda Rustavelli Tbilisi International Airport is Tbilisi's only international airport, located about 18 kilometers (11 miles) southeast of the city center. Handling 3.16 million passengers in 2017, it is the busiest airport in Georgia and the 17th busiest airport in the former Soviet Union. The airport has been rapidly growing over the past decade, handling more than 3.56 million passengers in 11 months of 2018. It is a hub for the national carrier Georgian Airways and a Georgian Chinese startup MyWay Airlines. As of December 2018, various airlines serve routes to major European and Asian hubs, such as, London, Munich, Berlin, Amsterdam, Dubai, Brussels, Vienna, Paris, Doha etc. Tbilisi International Airport in 2016 started to utilize solar energy and became the first «green airport» in the Caucasus region in 2008. Natakhtari Airfield, located at 33 km of Tbilisi, in the town of Natakhtari is a domestic airport serving the capital en routes to Batumi, Mestia and Ambrolori. <laughs> Metro The Tbilisi Metro serves the city with rapid transit subway services. It was the Soviet Union's fourth metro system. Construction began in 1952 and was finished in 1966. The system operates two lines, the Akhmeteli Varkadili line and the Sabortalo line. It has 23 stations and 186 metro cars. Most stations, characteristic to Soviet built metro systems, are extravagantly decorated. Trains run from 6 a.m. to midnight. Due to the uneven ground, the rail lines run above ground in some areas. Two of the stations are above ground. The third overground line is planned to connect central Tbilisi with suburbs and Tbilisi International Airport with a possible extension to Rostavi, 30 km east of Tbilisi. Tram Tbilisi had a tram network, since 1883 starting from horse-driven trams and from 25 December 1904 electric tramway. When the Soviet Union disintegrated, electric transport went to a degradation state within the years and finally the only tram line left was closed on 4 December 2006 together with two trolleybus lines which were left. There are plans to construct a modern tram network. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Minibus. The most dominant form of transportation is the minibus. An elaborate minibus system has grown in Tbilisi over the recent years. In addition to the city, several lines also serve the surrounding countryside of Tbilisi. Throughout the city, a fixed price is paid regardless of the distance 80 or 50 tetri in 2018. For longer trips outside the city, higher fares are common. As of April 2018, there are no predefined stops for the minibus lines, except 14 streets, they are hailed from the streets like taxis and each passenger can exit whenever he likes. Topic municipal bus The second largest form of transportation are the municipal buses which are operated by Tbilisi Transport Company. As of October 2018, 672 buses of various size are servicing the city, majority of them are Ukrainian Bogdan A144 and A092 models along with 143 energy-efficient Man Lion City buses. New Man Lion City buses were put in service in 2017. Later in 2018, the tender was announced to order 90 new buses. 
Tejeda Trucks and Buses won the tender and will be delivering a forementioned order in early 2019. In October 2018, at the Georgian Dream Conference, it was announced that all the buses will be changed with new ones by the end of 2019, out of which 90 will be electric. Moreover, Kaladze asserted, that by 2020, Tbilisi will have 200 electric buses and the total number will reach 900. Topic aerial tramways Historically, the city had seven different aerial tramways, but all of them closed after the collapse of the Soviet Union. Since 2012, Tbilisi has a modern, high-capacity gondola lift which operates between Reich Park and the Narakala Fortress. Each gondola can carry up to eight persons. The system was built by the Italian manufacturer Leitner Ropeways. Since October 12, 2016, Turtle Lake Aerial Tramway, originally opened in 1965, reopened after seven years out of service. It underwent major reconstruction but kept the old designs of gondolas and stations. This tramway connects Vake Park with Turtle Lake. Since October 2016, another Soviet-era aerial tramway between State University and University Campus in Subortalo District originally opened in 1982 is being reconstructed after 13 years of abandonment and is due for opening in April 2018. The original Italian produced cabins produced by Lovisolo and provided by Soretti and Tanfani, with a capacity of 40 passengers each, are being kept as well as the stations. Due to mismanagement at the hands of Soviet authorities, one of the main aerial trams experienced a major malfunction, causing the 1990 Tbilisi cable car accident and remaining closed ever since. Since October 2017, the aerial tram has been under reconstruction, keeping the old culturally significant lower station but with plans for new gondolas, masts, upper station and other infrastructure. The project is carried out by Doppelmayr Garaventa Group. <laughs> <laughs> Funicular Tbilisi Funicular reopened 2012 after a multi-year closure. It is a ropeway railway first built 1905, connecting Chonkadze Street and Mount Athesminda Park, and covering almost 300 metres in altitude difference. The top of the hill is the highest point of the city, offering many different views of Tbilisi, and is home to the Tbilisi TV broadcasting tower as well as some amusement rides, including a roller coaster and a Ferris wheel. The halfway station of the funicular is just a short way away from Mount Athesminda Pantheon, providing easy access to the necropolis. Education Tbilisi is home to several major institutions of higher education including the Tbilisi State Medical University and the Petra Shodadze Tbilisi Medical Academy, famous for their internationally recognized medical education system. The biggest Georgian university is Tbilisi State University which was established on 8 February 1918. SU is the oldest university in the whole Caucasus region. Over 35,000 students are enrolled and the number of faculty and staff collaborators is approximately 5,000. Tbilisi is also home to the largest medical university in Caucasus region, Tbilisi State Medical University, which was founded as Tbilisi Medical Institute in 1918 and became the Faculty of Medicine within the Tbilisi State University in 1930. Tbilisi State Medical Institute was renamed to Medical University in 1992. Since that university operates as an independent educational institution, TSMU became one of the high-ranking state-supported institutions of higher education in the Caucasus region. Currently, there are almost 5,000 undergraduate and 203 postgraduate students at the university of whom 10% come from foreign countries. Georgia's main and largest technical university, Georgian Technical University, is in Tbilisi. 
Georgian Technical University was founded in 1922 as a polytechnic faculty of the Tbilisi State University. The first lecture was read by the world-famous Georgian mathematician Professor Andrea Razmadze. It achieved university status by 1990. The three most popular private higher educational institution in Georgia, the University of Georgia, Tbilisi, Caucasus University, and the Free University of Tbilisi, are in Tbilisi. The University of Georgia Tbilisi is the largest private university in Georgia, with more than 3,500 international and local students. It was established in 2005 and soon became a market leader within Georgian educational sector. In 2010, the UG received financing from OPIC Overseas Private Investment Corporation for a development of the university's infrastructure and technical equipment. The University of Georgia has various undergraduate and graduate programs and it's the first company in Georgia which offers international certificate programs of the Oracle Corporation, Microsoft, Zen Technologies and Cisco Academy. Caucasus University was established in 2004 as an expansion of the Caucasus School of Business (CSB), established in 1998 by a consortium consisting of Tbilisi State University and Georgian Technical University in partnership with Georgia State University, Atlanta, USA. The Free University of Tbilisi was established in 2007 through the merger of two higher education schools, European School of Management ESM Tbilisi and Tbilisi Institute of Asia and Africa TIAA. Today Free University comprises three schools. Business School ESM, Institute of Asia and Africa and Law School delivering academic programs at the undergraduate, graduate and doctorate levels. In addition, Free University conducts a wide array of short-term courses and runs several research centers and summer school programs. Higher educational institutions in Tbilisi Tbilisi State University Ilya State University Georgian Technical University Tbilisi State Conservatory Shota Rustaveli Theatre and Film University Tbilisi State Academy of Arts The University of Georgia Tbilisi Tbilisi State Medical University Caucasus University Caucasus International University Tbilisi Medical Academy Free University of Tbilisi Grigol Robakidze University, alma mater Georgian American University International Black Sea University Georgian Institute of Public Affairs Agricultural University of Georgia International School of Economics The University of Geomedi New Vision University Topic: International relations. Topic: Twin towns and sister cities. Tbilisi is twinned with. Topic: Partnerships. equals equals see also